You never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. And that is the quote of the day. Welcome back to the Quote of the Day show. I'm your host, Sean Croxton of SeanCroxton.com. Thanks for tuning in to our Tuesday episode. Today's featured speaker is Mr. Bob Proctor. Yes, Bob is back. We've got some new stuff from Bob. This comes from his recent fourth dimensional leadership training event that went down in Los Angeles. And today, Bob is talking about one of my favorite topics, to be honest. It's a topic that I just love to rant about. I can go on for days about this one. And it's the fact that As human beings, we have the tendency to like, when we want to achieve something big in our lives, when we want to do something new that we haven't done before, we tend to seek counsel and ask advice from people who have never done what we want to do. Right. So so we want to get into a, an amazing relationship. We go talk to our friend who's never been in an amazing relationship in their entire life. We want to build a business. We go talk to our friends who have never built businesses in their entire lives. And I can go on and on and on. It's a really interesting thing that we do. And so Bob addresses this topic in a way that only Bob can. I hope you enjoy it. Here's Bob. You really got to believe it. Now, look at this. He said, remember. No more effort is required in order to aim high in life to absolutely demand abundance and prosperity than is required to accept misery and poverty. Here's the crazy part. It's the same energy. It's exactly the same energy that you build success or failure. It's like faith and fear. It's a strange thing. Both of them absolutely demand that you believe in something you can't see. If you believe in something you can't see, I think you'd be a little further ahead taking a shot at faith. But you see, we're programmed with fear. Be careful, you might fall. What a bunch of crap that is. The kid's going to fall. Absolutely no no question about it. The kid's going to fall. They're going to whack their head. They're going to cut. They're going to bleed. You'll hurt more than them, but they're going to fall. Then we're taught it's better to be safe than sorry. That's a bunch of crap. That's not true at all. All these great things that we're taught, most of them are not true. If you want to win, you've got to lock into it. Now, when I met Phil in Vegas, I said, Phil, if you really want what you're telling me, I'll tell you what to do. I'll tell you books to read. I'll tell you what pages to read. But you got to read them every day. There's some things I'm going to tell you to repeat. You got to repeat them every day. It's like Andrew Carnegie told Napoleon Hill. He had him write out an affirmation. This was the affirmation. Andrew Carnegie was the wealthiest man in the world. Napoleon Hill was broke. He was in his early 20s. He said, I want you to write this affirmation. He said, now you're going to be talking to yourself when you say this, Napoleon. Andrew Carnegie, I'm not only going to equal your achievements in life, I'm going to meet you at the post and I'm going to pass you at the grandstand. Napoleon Hill said, now, Mr. Carnegie, you know darn well that can't happen. That's not going to happen. And Carnegie said, I know it's not Napoleon until you believe it. Napoleon Hill has made millions of millionaires. Andrew Carnegie only made about 20 or 30 millionaires. You know the great lesson I learned out of that? If you repeat it, you look in the mirror and you repeat it, you repeat it, you repeat it, you repeat it, you're going to drop it into your subconscious mind. I didn't understand that. I just understood repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, and I did it. And I told Phil, I said, I'm going to tell you some things to do that you're going to think are absolutely ridiculous. But you've got to do them. If you want me to coach, I'll coach you. But if you don't do them, I don't want to talk to you. I've had people I coach, they'll spend $100,000, $200,000 a year to me coach them. And I make it very strange, very straight. There's no, there's no refund, and you've got to do exactly what I tell you. I said, I don't care if you waste your time, but I'm not going to waste my time. My time is very valuable, and I have no intentions of wasting it. I want to make every day really count. 
And the older I get, the more I, the more I want to make it count. Now you're sitting and you're wondering. I know some of you are wondering. You're not ready. You're hoping and you're wishing. You're hoping, God, I hope this will work. It isn't going to work if you're just hoping. You got to believe it's going to work. Now, why would I stand in light here? Why would I tell you something if I'm just making it up? I'm not making this stuff up, and I certainly didn't originate it. I've learned it by watching people who made it happen. See, if you want to win, go to somebody that's already done what you want to do. Most of us don't do that. We asked our brother-in-law, for God's sake, or asked the guy next door, what do you think? And I'm saying, well, I think this is what you should do. He's never done anything brilliant in his entire life. We go to people that are broke, and we say, how do you think we could earn more money? I don't know. Let's talk about it. You know, Carlisle, Carlisle put it very well. He said, I do not believe in the collective wisdom of individual ignorance. <laughs> you've got to get in, and you've got to do it. You know, I'm going to show you some things later. Sandy's going to come out, and I'm going to show you something. And you've got to do it. And it's going to be different. Now think of this. It doesn't take any more energy to shoot for the top. Now here's something that I love. Buckminster Fuller said, you never change things by fighting existing reality. That's what some of you are trying to do. You're fighting existing reality, trying to change. He said, that doesn't work. You've got to build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. And that's exactly what I did. That's exactly what I did. And you know something? I quit associating with everybody I associated with. I didn't sit down one day and say, I'm not going to mix with these people anymore. I didn't say that at all. But at some point I looked back and I thought, I don't see those people anymore. I was in a bar one day. And I remember I picked up a drink and I looked around like, what, you're all bums in here. <laughs> I put the glass down because I thought, I must be too. I'm always here. <laughs> Yet I said, I'm never coming back here again. And I never did. Never. You got to get to a point where when you make a decision, you make a decision. You cut the cord. You've got to discipline yourself. Discipline is the ability to give yourself a command and follow it. There's no screwing around with this. This is the real deal. You've got to build a new model and make the existing model obsolete. 